Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to continue our study of arrays and objects. We're going to be comparing them and talking about how they're similar and how they're different just to get a better understanding of each one. So arrays, if you remember, are organized by their order and you access them via their indices. So if I had const animals equals dog cat cow. So these are ordered and if I pull up animals we can see that there's the index, 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 and then the value. Objects are organized by key value pairs. They are not in any specific order. In some languages, these are called dictionaries, and I like that um, because they're kind of like a dictionary. Because in a dictionary, you look up a word and you have a definition for to it. That word is the key, the definition is the value. So we might do an object for a single animal. So const my animal equals an object species. We'll say it's a cat, temperament, terrible because it's a cat, and age is three, whatever. And we log that out, and you'll see that we have the same thing. Now notice, arrays and objects look very similar in their structure here, meaning that You've got a key and a value, key and a value, key and a value. So arrays really are just kind of a special type of object that only uses numbers as the keys and it always comes out in the same order. And if you look under the hood, they, that's actually very much the truth. Arrays are just object. In JavaScript, everything's an object. Arrays are just a type of an object where the key is always going to be a number and they're always going to be in the same order. In animal, the key generally won't be a number. It might start with a number if it's written by a bad coder. They are not ordered in a specific order. Every time you call this, it might come out in a different order. So let's make just a couple more just to make sure we all are on the same page. Const dogs, and I know you're going to get tired of me talking about dogs, but you're going to have to get over it. Max, Sam, Lila. And over here, we might make a dog. Const dog equals um, name is Max. His breed is a lab mix. His age is one. To access them, let's say that I wanted to get Lila from over here. I would do dogs two, because remember, arrays start at zero. And for Max, let's say I want to get his name, we do dog.name. You could also do dog name, but don't do that. If we wanted to add data to an array, we simply do dogs and then the index that we want to add it to, dogs4 equals, we'll call bandit. So now if I look at dogs, it has bandit added on. But you'll notice I made a goof. I forgot number three. So now there's zero, one, two, and four. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add dogs3 equals Chloe. So now I have dogs array of five items all in order. Over here in my object, if I wanted to add something to the max object, dog.isCute equals true. And now if I log dog, it's had that isCute key value pair added to it. You can also do dog is hungry equals true because he's always hungry. And we've had that added on. If you wanted to modify some of the data instead of adding on, it's very simple. It's the exact same in arrays. You simply call an index that's already there. So if I wanted to change this first one with max, we would do dogs zero equals, I don't know, Nymeria. Call dogs and Max has been replaced by Nymeria. I love Max, but if I could get a dire wolf, um, I'm pretty sure I would. And then over in the object, it's the exact same dog.age. Let's say that Max is going to get a bit older. Now he's turned two, and now his age is two. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.